All right, we are back with play number two uh, of Revendreth. We left off with, uh, we're now going to go look for the other Inquisitor's uh, Sinstone, or rather the Fragments. And uh, we'll carry on where we left off at the bottom of the stairs. We've got Temel, our little buddy here, this little dude. And uh, we're going to go. And I'm not going to aggro Justice up here, because uh, he hits hard, and I don't want to deal with him. So, we're going to... We're going to be a... Lazy Caretakers, the monument is practically falling over. Soul Monitor. All right. Yeah, that big bear has been killing everyone. There's ghosts all around here. I love the, the body that is left behind here. So apparently we're coming up to a really big moment in the quest line. Does it? I feel like these Venthyr are full of shit. They talk about arrogance, but like... Come on. Come on. So I think it's just a generic large area we have to run around through. Um, For saves this realm. Fortunately, we're a protection paladin, so we can we can deal with a couple mobs. Not that I plan to fight all these guys. Uh, I see nothing over here. There are no sin stones. God help me if I get dismounted. Oh, that's why. They're not randomized. They're actually in particular spots. It would help if I knew what I'm looking for. That's another one of those big scary bears. Literally under the pile of rubble. Okay, all right. I really hope, I was told actually in a YouTube comment that these little dudes are voiced later on in Revendreth. So I'm excited to hear what they sound like. don't want to fight you. I stand with the accuser. You didn't hear any voices? Someone in the comments said that later on there's one or two of them that are voiced and they're great. But you've also gotten far, so... My hopes and dreams are shattered. At least until the next alpha build. Oh, this is neat. I gotta light the candles. Dope! Alright, I found our buddy Echelon here. As Echelon holds the Sinstone Fragments, Anima binds, uh, draw the pieces into one another, forming into a complete Sinstone. We are ready to proceed. 
Inquisitor Wilhelm hides smugly in the back of the courtyard, flanked by several Gargons and loyal Venther. We must kill him to break the ward on the Inquisitor Sinstone, so that Lord Chamberlain can use it in can use it in his battle. Tumul will once again help you penetrate the Inquisitor defenses. Do not tarry. Got it. All right. Let's go find out this guy's true name. How far do you have to go? Okay, not very far. I will reassemble the Sinstone for you, Tumul. So I can betray my friend with a G, thanks. I will enjoy humbling you. All right. <clears throat> All right, his real name is Mongu the Sun King, who ascended to great power and used it for himself, who treated all others with disrespect. You're repeating yourself here, buddy. That's it. That's all you did? It's not that bad. Come on. Give me world ending plagues or something. Read me his crimes again. Moongo the Sun King, who chose folly and selfishness to their end. Alright, alright. I dig it. Who squandered the wisdom of the ages, who mistreated and exploited his worshippers. Worshippers? Neat. Moongo the Sun King. What a name. The wards protecting your sinstones have crumbled, accuser. I shall retrieve it for me immediately. Alright. All right, that guy was interesting. Sun King. I know. Like, is it was he an Arakoa? What was he? Was he? Uh... Hmm. I just thought, what if he was a um, a um, oh, what are they called? Tolvir. But then do do Titan Forge go here? Do Titan Forge races go here? I don't know. Alright. Where's my dude? There he is. Lord Chamberlain confirmed the kill. We should hurry. Pretty sure I confirmed the kill. Lord Chamberlain has held off the accuser to buy some time. We needed to break the ward on her sinstone, but thanks to your delays. Wow. A reinforcement of his position is overdue. I will click the accuser sinstone and carry us to the battle. Tons of spoilers. Hello, Michael. <clears throat> Your role is to hold still and stay silent. That's my role? Bolt of overwhelming power. The hour of your defeat has arrived. My endlings have delivered your sinstones right into my hand. Begins to read a sinstone intently, preparing for his ritual. This is, in fact, one of the larger sinstones. This is, in fact, one of the larger sinstones have seen. It will be easy to exploit. I think you mean one of the larger sinstones. This is, in fact, one of the larger sinstones. Unless there's an eye in there. I can't see it. This will be this will be easy to exploit. Now that I possess the accuser sinstone, I can finally end her treasonous charade once and for all. Protect me while I study the sinstone, and you will be rewarded as first among my retainers. After I crush her with my incredible power, I will seize control of the halls of atonement and receive the master's reward. This feat heralds my own ascension to the Co Council of Harvesters. Help Lord Chamberlain defeat the accuser. Incredibly powerful harvester in charge of the Halls of Atonement who is currently resisting the Master. 
Can I read her sin stone? Aw, oh, that's a shame. You're fortunate to witness my ascension, mortal. I am ready to witness your ascension. We will use the accuser sin stone to break her just like the inquisitors. I named the accuser's true name Harriet the Crimson Shade. Harriet. Who orchestrated the assassinations of countless innocents. Whose every prophet came for murder. Who killed her own. Why, why is nothing happening? Do you think a harvester would be so easily broken? I keep my sins on a display for all to see. I'm proud of the sins I have overcome for Revendreth. Your stoneborn cannot hinder me. I am a harvester. Ooh. Drained of its anima and rendered lifeless. Dope! That probably should have done something, though. Echelon Mawalker, protect me! Your stoneborn cannot... My man alley... Oh, I have to fight her? Oh, okay. Let's be able to amplify this insulin somehow. So, you know my name. Now know my power. Mm. Protected by Lord Chamberlain's medallion, heating 30% of maximum health every one second. That seems a little bit OP. Just a little bit. 1% down. This is going great. I'm going to build a barricade. Just, just because. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I am triumphant. My medallion has made manifest your own accuser. Do you recognize her? It's a little child. Camille, the daughter you murdered in the dark of night. Mama? Mama, why did you kill me? It was you. They lied to me. They said... You murdered her, your own daughter. You dare manifest my own daughter to torment me. I paid for that sin a hundred times over. I broke it through the accuser's defenses. Crush her while she's weak. Oh, now she's dropping like a fly. Damage increased by 2,000%. So she was human. Interesting. I have nothing left. Oh, she's in chains. And even that I will take from you, traitor. <clears throat> Little Chamberlain smiles. The Tall's Batonement are under my control. You know, stand in the presence of a harvester, Maul Walker. Little Chamberlain breathes in deeply and smiles. I will use the accuser's medallion to solidify my foothold over the Hall's Atonement. Meanwhile, the master has requested that you deliver both the accuser and the medallion that he loaned to me. It's going to be shortly to retrieve you. Do not keep the master waiting. Bow to your knee to the new... Yes, yes I know the master does not require my presence. He's requested I stay here and establish control over the Hall's as top priority. Can I talk to you? No? I feel like you should have done something in the battle. Like you should have fallen or something. Oh. I probably should have reported it. She's been in here for centuries. I mean... Humans are only, what, a couple thousand years old? Hello. Jesse's aesthetic contrasts with the aesthetic of the zone. 
Are you assuming that Jesse is not an edgelord? <laughs> Very bold. You've been lied to, Maul Walker. The master is not what he claims. Silence, prisoner. Deliver me to the master, but do not trust him. Well done, Maul Walker. I trust you have the medallion that I loaned to the lower chamberlain. I could just run off with this, probably, couldn't I? It's weird that Sire Denathrius doesn't have wings. I want him to have wings. You're missing something crucial. Sire Denathrius smiles as you hand on the medallion. I am pleased to see that you can be trusted with great power. Thank you for your service in deposing the accuser and elevating Lord Chamberlain in her place. The accuser's unprompted betrayal has rendered her both undeserving and unfit to serve on the Council of Harvesters. Now please observe what happens to traitors in Revendreth. I find no solace in the punishment of these traitors, but as a servant of Reverend Jeff, they do what I must to preserve peace here. In time, I hope they will see the error of their ways. Alright, let's watch this. Here we go. The accuser, I gave you a simple task. Instead, you chose rebellion. You ordered me to defile the ancient rituals that define who we are. I will not do that even for you. A pity. So be it. Accuser, today you stand accused of defying the will of Reverend Dreth. Take her. I accuse you, Denathrius, of failing in your charge. You are the one who defies the will of Revendreth. Defy Revendreth. I am Revendreth. Glares at the accuser's cage with wrathful intent before calming himself. Perhaps a few centuries burning in the Ember Ward will remind you of who rules this place. Even your punishment reveals your complacency. Very well. Hide me with your other failures. You were once the Lord of Dread. Now? Now your teeth have lost their terror. I remember when you first came to us, a soul filled with pride and greed, defiant until the end. It was fear that ultimately broke you. I do not fear you now. We shall see. This is a marvelous opportunity for our guests to witness some of those ancient rituals you are so fond of. Fear stalker. Master? Prepare your hunters. Oh, did I miss something bad happen? Lord of Dread? I caught that too, Ashura. I am not... Nothing if not merciful understanding. The acute... I really... Do we hear what Sire Denathrius sounds like, Ashura? God, I can't wait to hear what his voice sounds like. Does he sound like a typical Dread Lord? That was very Draenei. But there, you know, some of the old Dreadlord, Nathrazim, used to sound very vampirish. The accuser will be given every opportunity to repent her errors and learn from them. I'm surprised you would even keep her alive. Ah, yes, you've done me a great favor in delivering the accuser, Malwalker. To celebrate, I must insist that you take part in the sacred tradition of Revendreth. It is a duty we understand to strike humbling fear into the hearts of the most stubborn souls. Fear can be a powerful motivator for change. Meet the Fearstalker in the Grove of Terror below. There you will prepare. That doesn't sound fun at all. Miskia, take this traitor to Wayne Crypt. Like Bruce Wayne? Fearstalker, have your hunters meet the Mawwalker at Wayne Crypt once they are prepared. They're at your disposal, Master. Brahmas, meet me at the Grove of Terror. Okay. All right, that was neat. I expected either her to get away or for her to die, but she's just being thrown away. All right, cool. <laughs> I trust that something actually was said. I looked over and saw text, but it vanished the second I looked at it. Schrodinger's text. All right, where am I going? Down here. The giant icon, right. Oh, I love these new bat models. They're so good. 
I'm thankful bats don't look like that in real life, though. That would be absolutely terrifying. I love bats, for the record, but my god. Welcome to the Grove of Terror. Here you will see the beginnings of the process for the anima you seek. Uh, you're gonna... Sire Denathris has requested I help you prepare for the hunt. Every hunter must help prepare a soul here in the Grove of Terror. I have a stubborn soul who's been quite uncooperative. It is their time to be hunted. Fear Sucker hands you a set of Hopebreaker soul chains. Demoralize them. We can't let them leave here with any hope. The hunt is meant to break them. Oh. So they become less resistant to the processes of Reverend Dreth. All right. Use these chains to control the stubborn soul. A soul bound by iron is at your will. Bound by iron. That sounds very grumash. Your will is iron. That is true, Anthony. I do trust you to have my back in a fight. Hello, Sean. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm going the wrong direction. No, where am I going? Over here. I will open the crypt. Remember, this is what's best for them. Hello, spooky man. Chaining. No king shaming here. King Adagar. What now? More tedium to waste my time? King. Interesting. Bring the stubborn one to me, Mawwalker. You think you could scare me? I braved endless legions. This will be child's play. <laughs> okay, buddy. Let me see the soul you have brought before me. Read this soul their sins. Ah, King Adagar, you are quite the sinful one indeed. I don't deserve to be treated like a dog. Stop this immediately. Oh, how about when you send hounds after poor villagers for not paying their leisure tax? Yeah, that's pretty dickish. You're right where you belong. You're going to feel the same fear and terror you instilled in life. Take them to the Gargons. You're just your every move. Stay in front of them to pull them to the gauntlet. These beasts don't scare me. Must remain in front of them. How much more in front of them do you want me to be? Okay. Literally, how much more in front? There we go. Those kind of got close. Enough of this now. Are you trying to get me devoured? Maybe. Bring that one here, mortal. I have plans for him. Hitch that one to the stake. His fear will do the rest of the work. What's happening now? Leave me out to dry for eternity. That's gruesome. You didn't last long, did you? Bring him to me. There was more to be done. Please, I can't take it anymore. Maybe I do deserve this. I've inflicted much such suffering. I dread what comes next. 
The soul is nearly ready. We have an opportunity to finish preparing the soul and take care of a problem or two in the process. Look around, Ma Walker. The dread bats have practically taken over these grounds. Their lack of anima has driven them to attacking anyone and anything, making our work here quite difficult to carry out. Go and reestablish our dominance over them. Dread bats are quite useful to us. We make them just like Stoneborn, but they lack their same intelligent. With very little direction, they strike fear into stubborn souls' hearts. With the anima draught, our dominion over them is waned. One, Dreadbane has caused quite a bit of damage. This presents us with an opportunity. Take the soul and draw her in. When she's weak, we can capture her for our own purposes. Interesting. So she's like the Stoneborn, but she's they're independent? They don't need the anima? Do they become statues? Hmm. Dear gods, what is that creature? Oh, that's huge! Big red boy. What do I tell you? We need her alive. I will handle this mortal. I mean, what do you want me to do? Drag her over? There. Say your professional work. So I'll meet you back at camp. I must go put this be beast to work. Flock Master Sergio. The balance is returning. Now that she's captured, we have a little more control over these grounds. That is definitely Najatar Cloak. The soul is ready. It is finally time to begin the hunt. Take him to Wayne Crypt. The Fierce Stalker and the other hunters will be there already. Hurry right, now. She does not like to be kept waiting. This one is ready. Their resistance will be fully broken by the hunt. Didn't you see Dash? Didn't you see it? It was on screen for everyone to see. I definitely got behind him. Not even remotely going in the right direction. We've been expecting you. Have your soul join the others, will you? Let us begin, shall we? There is one more step we must complete until we make begin the hunt. You and the other hunters will siphon the trace anima that has simmered up during either time in the Grove of Terrors to wake your gargons. Set aside one for you. His name is Crusher. Ends you an anima stake and a hollow dread fang, dread bat fang. Siphon the anima from the soul. Barramos. Got it. Welcome, privileged souls. Your pride and arrogance blinds you. Hope breakers, infuse your gargons. Penitent Hunt is meant to, not to punish, but correct you. Through fear, you will be rebuilt. Brahmas, the honor is yours. Use the Hollowed Fang to signal the hunt. Oh, it's a horn. Got it. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Well then, you show some real aptitude for this. Perhaps in death you will make a fine hunter. Now we can really sink our teeth into the hunt. How exciting. I can practically taste the fear we will inflict. You will descend upon these poor souls. Remember you are helping them and Reverend Jeth the terror you bring. When a soul is filled with fear, their resistances to our methods falter. The master has requested that you hunt the accuser yourself. We must prey upon some of the others first. I will be able to guide you through your first hunt. The Gargon you just infused will join us as well. This is sadistic. Let's begin. Though the souls are a primary target, another challenge has arisen. The Bane one has seen an infestation of devourers. Disgusting vermin who gorge themselves on the anima we need to survive. A fitting challenge for any true hunter, no? I should only thank the master that they've remained in a few secluded pockets, but I loathe to think that their numbers could multiply. And exterminate them before they pose a true threat. Dope. Let's go. Huntsmaster Constantin. Constantine. Hunting trophies. Uh, to be a hope breaker is to conquer all prey, not just souls. The Bane was home to many dangerous creatures, death walkers, fear spinners, and the horrifying doom fangs. Literally the worst sounding names ever. If you wish to really master the art of the hunter, you should be able to defeat these foes. Bring me trophies as proof of your conquest. May earn my respect. Doom fang, death walker, and fear spinners. Most terrifying names possible. Maul Walker, I have another task for you. Some time ago, I sent Soul Watcher Abel and a few others to slay some troublesome bone maulers. They have yet to return. Go find them, will you? I tell you, they dead. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. All right. These are just generic spider models. I wonder if that's intentional. Ooh, big, huge puppies. Yeah, these might be placeholders for at least two of them, because we got regular spiders, rotting bears, and then three-headed horrifying dogs. So I'm going to assume that two out of the three of these maybe are placeholders? I'm interested to hear what the origins of these things are, because they don't look like death in any way. They look kind of like they may belong in Ardenweld, but not naturally. They have this weird glow to them. So what are they? This creature is too powerful. What do you what do you want me to do? Nothing? King Adgar hunted. What do you mean hunted? What do you gotta do? Ah. That's what I was looking for earlier. Yeah, what are the origins of these weird blue glowing alien things? 
They're not fell. Are they arcane? Watch the king's animal fall off like tender meat to the castle with him. The master will make great use of this one. Do we know which realm is Shura, or... Because they don't look like anything we've seen so far. I'm kind of art and well dish, but... With the prey conquered, I've had enough of these things. My hunters can take it from here. See, once you master fear, all crumble before you. Yeah, you kill those eggs, Fear Stalker. Now, the reason why I think that these creatures are potentially placeholders is because does this? I mean, the Shadowlands has its own natural animals. We know that. We've seen that. But would they have just regular spiders and bears? In Bastion, they've got the the lions with the wings. They've got big bird things they do have regular mountain rams so maybe maybe man imagine a man imagine being a bear in life and you're friends with all the local druids you know you got some bros over in moonglade got some buddies over in uh Feralas, right and you're just doing bear things. Eating, sleeping, pooping, whatever bears do, right? And then you die. You get a big old axe to the head. And you die a horrible death. And you're like, yo, I'm gonna go join the druidic realm of Ardenweald. I'm gonna go join my other bears. And you end up in Revendreth as a bear. How much would that suck? That poor bear. Poor Brian the bear. F for Brian. All right, get off this stupid mount. Yoshai the Merciless. Look, Brahma's paralyzed the soul of fear, and their enema flows freely. I feel sorrow. I must repent. Need one more. Um, yeah, the this next hunt is not even on the map. She's nowhere to be found. Is it a bug on my end, or what's going on? How come it's literally nowhere? Is this the true... Is, are they trying to do, like, the classic experience where they don't tell you where to go, but then they give you no actual hint in the quest log? How did you stumble across it, Ishura? 
did you just randomly find it or did it show on yours? Because this is, oh, there it is. All right, so that's definitely a bug. I'm definitely going to put that in the feedback. Like, I'm all for finding your own way, but when you give no inclination of what's going on, it's kind of not exactly good game design. In terms of, like, I, I love an open world hunt, but that was just clunky. By no means am I a game designer. I'm not trying to sound like an armchair game designer. It just... As someone who enjoys an open world and exploration, that was bizarre. Valarg is now following. Thank you for the follow. All right. I finally found Crown Lord Tiana. Do you not see the struggle is useless? You can no longer resist the process to the Halls of Atonement with you. See how fear helps make these souls drop their resistance to the process? Our work is critical to Reverend Dreth during the drought. Yes, please, no more. Well then, the fear we struck allowed us to example on for Reverend Dreth onto our final target. It's time to hunt our final prey, the accuser. Anima drought or not, her psychophantic adherence to sacred rituals flies in the face of the master's will. I can't wait to see the fear in her eyes. Crusher will lead the way. Hunt the accuser. Did he just take off? Ooh, Crusada's here? That's odd. This place has been abandoned for... What the? Enough of these games. It just clicked to me that Denathrim has blinded you. Wrathful Invocation. Being imbued with the Venter magic from the Accuser. Take this power. Will you see the truth? All right, so these guys are frozen, as we see here. We got a new ability, Door of Shadows. We'll test that in a second. These guys are frozen with blood. This guy is just outright dead. Oh, he's got a sword through his chest. Oh, rip. I'm picking this rose. No, I'm not. Open your eyes and use the power, Ma Walker. It is the only way. No, I'm testing this ability now, then. Nope, that's not it. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. All right, so the accuser, we can talk to you. Uh, your sword is very 2004 dead mines. And by sword, I mean knife, dagger. We meet again under dire circumstances. Fear. Or something is there text cut out from there maybe i can't see hmm on the other side of this mirror lies the depths of castle nathria the fortress of denathrius himself there, a meeting between Denathrius and one of his lackeys is about to take place. Join me through the mirror, Brahmus. You shall see the truth of this draught firsthand. Follow the accuser through the mirror and witness the truth of Revendreth. Follow me, Mawalker. You will see which side you have been fighting for.
All right. Let's see what's going on. The big reveal. Watch. Our voice of the people is doing anything but serving Revendreth. Keep your head down. We don't want them to see us. I don't see them anywhere. Should see the other side though. Hmm. Vampire raid path blocker C instance. All right, got it. Definitely not supposed to click on those gates. Captain Exposition. Oh, he is my favorite NPC. Nope. Okay. All right. Show me the truth. Conversation between Athreus and Lady in Vervis Darkvein showing the Anima stores. Seems our guests have overstayed their welcome. Show them out. Yes, my liege. It is time to secure us away here by my side. Ooh, I could attack him? Interesting. Alright, so Denathrius knows we're no longer on his side. Spicy. Give up, accuser. The master will crush your pathetic resistance. Even without a medallion, you will stand. Perhaps we will use your anima at our next feast, traitor. Steph has subbed for three months. Thank you for the subscription, Steph. I'm also recording a video right now for the, the fine good looking viewers on youtube so i'm not really paying attention to the chat right now all right how much more do you want me to protect you come on come on have we met you yet lady inverna darkvane i think we have yes we we definitely have you were probably one of the ones that were standing in front of him with all the others earlier I love you, Steph. The mirror's repaired. We need to go now. No, stop them, you fools. What happens if I stay? Nothing. Got it. I'm out. Was she not standing with that one vent there with all the nobles standing around them? In the last video that I did, we barely made it. Uh, made it. Denathrius will certainly be on our trail soon. That was a narrow escape. Looks like the fear stalker disappeared. That cannot be good. But I believe this presents an opportunity to finally turn the tide of this strife and defeat the fear stalker. Meet me at the Dread Hollow, the abandoned hunting lodge of the fear stalker. We must take separate paths, or she will surely be on our trail. We'll meet you there, Mawker. I must alert our ally. Prefer orders to come. Got it. All right, so Ashura just sent me some uh, some screenshots of what we're supposed to see. Um, and we're seeing a whole bunch of anima vats, big big canisters of blood of anima uh, being funneled out of Revendreth. So much for a draught. Do I really have to use this power every time I want to leave this place? All right. I don't like seeing Dread Hollow spelt like that. D R E D. D R E D. Um, like there needs to be an A. D R E A D. It's there for a reason. Hey, hey, he's up with the sass there. Running away, are we? Only making your fear that much more palpable. Dread Hollow, interesting. No matter, my elite hope breakers will make quick work of you. This plan could work, but it doesn't come without risk. Lucky for us, my walker thrives against the odds, and they have arrived.
I'm glad you made it here alive. General Draven has informed me of a plan that might just work quickly. The Free Stalker still lurks. Hey, you're the guy who attacked us at the beginning. Breaking the Hope Breakers. The Fear Stalkers have surely sent her hunters across the entirety of the Banewood in search of us. Draven informed me that some of the her top hunters are scouring Dread Hollow as we speak. We can use them to our advantage. Slaying them should get her attention. They use your hands to a collection of red vials. Throw these on her hunters. It should draw the attention of the devourers infesting this place. Ooh. Some weapon models. Neat. Luring the Fierce Doctor here will prove pointless unless we can tilt the odds. She will surely up with a small army. Plant these anima containers. When the time comes, we will release their contents of the air, dowsing her and her forces in a thick layer of anima. Let's get the devourers infesting this place to flock them like moths will flame. Seems like a big waste of anima. General Draven looks around. We require additional reinforcements. I know two here that are fiercely loyal to the true purpose of Revendreth. The Fierce Doctor left them. Here to be consumed by the anima drought due to their allegiance. They are both fully capable of assisting us on our mission. Take this anima stake and infuse them. Direct them to me. I will explain the situation. Your mission is critical. The trap must be set properly if we hope to succeed. We'll meet you at the ma uh, manor just past the village center. Alright, let's go. Let's go set some traps. I wonder if I'm supposed to go down here. Oh, this is the really, really eerie quiet. Oh, yeah. Watchmaster Boromod. You have a dope beard, Boromod. Yo, your beard vanished. What the hell, man? Reported. My gratitude is yours. I will seek out General Draven for further orders. Yo, dude. I was excited for that beard. Shake my damn head. I can't get a reading. any readings on them. Hope Breaker Marku. Oh, rip. Apparently this guy has a really high chance to parry. I mean, he is a duelist. That makes sense. What does that do? This fate is better than the wrath you face. Shame. I like that one. Watch your back, Ma Walker. All right, so that transition was pretty fast. I'm suddenly no longer on their side. I am suddenly very much on the accuser's side. With, like, no text from the Fear Stalker at all on what happened to me. But I guess I'm missing part of that cinematic. And it is alpha. I just hope that transition is a little... Uh, Yeah, he's giving it away, but like there's no there's no kind of transition from even from like the fierce like does the fear stalker know what he's doing? Is she just misinformed or is she just totally cool with it?
Seems the prey has foolishly sought their predator. Forgive me. What? How? Never mind. Kill this pest now. Oh, she's getting angry. She getting cranky. Yeah, I do wonder. I do wonder if um, there'll be more of a transition. Pain. What do you sense? The Marwalker must be close. Right behind you, dumbass. His butt. His beast doesn't even aggro. Our numbers are bolstered, only survival ch our ch survival chance is only slightly less grim. It sounds like it worked better than expected. Perfect, the free soccer stands no chance. Uh, let's get a new shield. The virus will rip them to shreds. The trap has been set and the Fear Stalker has just walked right in, just as I expected. Her, her pride has blinded her to the obvious. When you're ready, we can spring the trap. I grow tired of this first. Show yourselves, and I will grant you the mercy of the swift end. Time is upon us. Troops, hold the line. Come here. You'll be instrumental in the final battle. Are you ready? I am ready. Placeholder cinematic backwards. All that effort. I still stand. Face me. All right. So she's half health. Something happened. Weakened by the World Eater Colossus. Definitely imagine there's some sort of event. Obviously a placeholder cinematic. I wonder where that comes into play here. Trying to save an anima, use the vial. Oops, I definitely shouldn't have used that so soon. Use the vial, the fear stalker. Yeah, definitely some missing dialogue here. Hello, shoe boots. I am loving Revan Dress. I'm just recording a YouTube video right now. Sorry for not looking at chat here. Of course, I look away and she uses it again. Save that until next time you cast. becomes the hunted. Ooh, medallion. Test of victory, we will meet you just outside Dread Hollow. Alright, I actually thought she would be convinced to join us. But I guess not. I guess not. I 
I feel like that death will be a lot more impactful with the appropriate cinematic. Yeah, I am loving Revendreth so far. Just the whole the whole feel of it. I and I honestly I went in just thinking it's a cool looking zone. I can enjoy this. Did not think to, I would enjoy it this much. Is the Fear Stalker dealt with? You were right there. The medallion will serve us well, but we lack our leader to don it. We must seek out more allies. This is not victory. If Prince Renathal does not return, we merely delayed defeat. The prince was last seen during an assault on the Master's Keep alongside Duke Theotar. We don't know the prince's fate, but we've learned that Duke Theotar was banished to the Ember Ward. The Ember Ward is a land of madness and torture. Blooded by the light, the Master sends his most hated enemies there to suffer unending agony. Enter the Ember Ward, find Theotar, and discover the prince's fate. Without Prince Renathal, our rebellion is doomed. Find Duke Theotar in the Ember Ward. Only he knows the prince's fate. We'll be mobilizing shortly. Okay. So I think with that, we're going to bring this playthrough to a close. Uh, we'll continue with part three, where we visit the Ember Ward and what uh, role the light has to do in the Shadowlands. Let me just uh, close things up here. That was, uh, I imagine, with a, a proper, proper cinematic, that chapter will be a lot more... I don't want to use the word exciting. Built up. Because I feel like I'm missing a couple pieces. Alright, uh, that was part two of uh, playthrough with the Revendreth. We, uh, we are now on the Accuser's side. We stand alongside her. Uh, we haven't met the Prince yet, but we are now on the Rebellion side. Uh, we did learn of Denathrius's, what he's doing with the, with the anima, why there's a draught, even though that cinematic was kind of incomplete. I'll post some pictures up uh, in the final edit. Um... And of course, this is all alpha. So, you know, to say that the story feels incomplete, well, obviously the story feels incomplete because the cinematics aren't in, the in-game cutscenes aren't in, nothing's in like that. So it'll, I mean, I'm enjoying the hell out of the zone and I don't even have the whole picture yet. So with all the voice acting and the music and final effects and cinematics and all that, I think this is going to be one of my favorite zones. Um, so that's a pretty high bar to set. Uh, thank you for hanging out for this playthrough of Revendreth. Uh, if you missed the stream, uh, keep an eye on our on our Twitter page, twitter.com slash lostcodex, where we announce when we are uh, filming these things at twitch.tv slash lostcodexlore. Uh, but again, if you missed the stream, I'll always upload the playthrough Twitch VOD onto YouTube. Uh, until next time, guys, for part three in Revendreth. We'll see you then.